What's good, everybody? It's Casual Gaming, and we're back with some more content. What did you expect? We're back with some Dying Light 2. Stay human. And before we start today's episode, I just want to tell all my lovely viewers, all my lovely supporters, I hope that you had a wonderful Wednesday today. Today's a good day. I hope it was filled with love and support. And I hope that you get to end the night relaxing and enjoying this video. Without further ado, let's jump into it. First things first. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. Okay. Hakan's talking to us. Let's let's check out our journal real quick. It's been a few days since I recorded. Hakan and I had to find a way around their patrols. Okay. So that's the main quest. We have a whole bunch of activities to do. This activity is level 4. Excuse me. Hmm. We got some military airdrops. Are going to give us a whole bunch of inhibitors. Speaking of inhibitors, we have an upgrade available. Climb higher and fight longer without losing your breath. Or sustain more damage from falls or getting hit by enemies. And I think stamina is really our biggest problem right now. Let's go ahead and get our stamina leveled up, which will increase our immunity, which is perfect. Skills, um, not sure why that's still highlighted. It looks like that's the only thing we can do right now. Um, I don't uh, like player rank. And then you got hardcore points and combat points. So like this is our level right but then we also have separate levels for parkour like we're level two parkour and level three combat so maybe each it i mean with five levels and we have five things here we're about to get a sixth or a third parkour point which should put us to rank two i'd assume that that's how all that works we now have 120 stamina which is great any weapons that we really want to look at um, looks like all of our better weapons are equipped. The bad thing is, is our hammer is actually about to break. What's in our stash? Nothing. Nothing in our stash. Okay. So let's look at the map before we get started for today. And what do we want to do? We got the main quest, report to Aider. Um, and that's about the Lazarus Knuckles that we found from the little girl Maya over here last episode. I really, really, really would like to do one of these uh blue sources though. These ones that you're supposed to do at night. I ain't gonna lie, it sounds kinda scary. But let's do some of these side quests, man. We've been doing a lot of main story. We got some side quests here. So maybe we'll just do one of these side quests and then move on to the main story. After that, we could go ahead and install another um, windmill. And that'll actually give us another safe house. And it's already in this territory. So we won't have to make any decisions on who we want to give that windmill to. Doesn't even look like we have enough electricity for these windmills in Houndfield. Which I'm not really sure what that means. A lot of these are red, which means they're too high of a level anyways. Um, but this stuff over to the east in the Horseshoe District is all level 1. As well as the stuff in Trinity District seems to be level 1. These are survivor territories. So let's go ahead and hit this windmill. I think we want to establish as many windmills as possible. It's going to give us experience. And it's going to give us more safe zones at night. Um, so we don't have to be so frantic at night when we're running around. We don't have to worry so much about finding all these safe zones that we can't seem to find. Um, and it should help us allow us to get more things done at night. I still don't understand what that book icon is yet. So let's go ahead and check that out while we're over here. I don't understand why these people have health bars. Like, I'm hitting trees with an axe. 
I know, bud. College was pointless, wasn't it? It's a shame. Could have saved you money. Stay, stay in, uh, stay in school, kids. Stay in school. All right, let's see what this is all about. A campfire. Sit by campfire. What's this do? This just like immersion? Are we? Can we? Nice. Though you may I, I'm not gonna lie, I could sit there and listen to that for an hour. Um, that was really cool. But I won't bore you guys too long. We do have an encounter right here. Let's check this out. What kind of encounter is this? I do really like that though. We might have to check that out again sometime soon. I wonder if the songs get different. She was talking about the Night Runners. Look, he's dead again. Every time I get there. Not even a runner, bro. Combat feels a little different. Um, they just had an update, so that would make sense. Uh, which is why this video is being released a little later today. I had to actually wait for the update to come out. Still don't remember who attacked you. Can you walk now? All right, let's go check out this windmill now. Now that we did that encounter, got a little parkour experience. I did really like that campfire song though. That was really cool, and she even sounded good. This is a grove, so I'm gonna take these zombies out. Okay. That works. Get us some nice supplies for crafting, making some health kits, things like that. Also, definitely take some more UV shrooms. You guys have noticed how helpful that can be at night. And some lavender. Cool. Alright, we got a side quest over there. Unknown location. But let's stay focused. There's so much going on. Let's stay focused. And get to this windmill. I keep getting distracted. Oh, these are enemies. Okay. Gotcha. Can I pick this up, please? He just got messed up. That combat feels different. It feels smooth. Oh, it feels good. I wonder if they change some things. It does. It feels so much more impactful and better. I don't know. You guys let me know if you feel any different. You didn't carry that. 
Still need to work on my parries, huh? Not very good. There we go. Perfect. Whew. All right. I just wanted some loot, man. That's all I was here for. Didn't have to attack me like that, bro. Rags? All that for a bunch of rags? Some resin, which is nice. Some scrap. And there is the windmill. How are we going to get over there? Quest is right there. No more distractions, Cage. Come on now. Aww, not the wedding ring. It's horrible. Assholes. Alright, now we should be able to make this now that we increased our stamina. Oh yeah, easily. Easily. Increasing our stamina, I definitely say it was worth it. Alright, let's activate ourselves another windmill here. Get some more safe spots for us. Definitely help us out at night. Got another elevator mechan or uh, mechanism here. All right. Looks like we're gonna need to grab on right here. And we got another elevator. We'll wait for our stamina to come back though. All right, let's grab on. Wait for it to rise up a little bit. Alright. Crawl under here. And go up the ladder. And let's go ahead and activate us a windmill. First things first though. This seems like a pretty good vantage point, doesn't it? Let's pull out the binoculars. See if we can find anything. Looks like there's some stuff over here somewhere. What are we looking at? Down here? It's close. Military convoy, nice. Definitely tried our luck with a few of those. Hasn't uh, worked out the greatest for us. But that looks like everything. Cool. So let's go ahead and activate this windmill. Get another safe zone for us. That's cool, it was a different animation from the first one. Cool, cool. Another safe house is set up for us. Perfect. And a parkour skill. And we have a lot of options. Okay. Increase your speed while navigating tricky obstacles. Okay. Move faster on ledges when moving up into either side. That's very useful. Reduce fall damage and keep your momentum. Tap E while running over an obstacle to spring from it and jump further. Temporarily increases your movement speed, which allows you to jump across wider gaps, reach higher ledges, or run longer on walls. Press left shift while running to gain a brief burst of speed. I think we're going to go with the basics here, though. Moving faster on ledges, because um, that's going to help with our stamina. Um... All, all this stuff is really cool, though. Like, that's useful. Climbing ledges faster. All this stuff is nice. A power attack? I can't wait for that. Break through people's blocks. Go down this zip line. I think I'm gonna settle by the wind. Now that the juice is back. There is our trader there. 
inhibitor is close. Let's see what this dude has to trade. He's got some medicine. Nothing really. We have some valuables to sell. 260 worth. We don't have any ranged weapons yet. Otherwise, this ranger class stuff isn't very good for us. Healing effectiveness, damage from parkour attacks, health regen speed, and damage resistance. Those are pretty nice. But do we want to spend 600 Right now, I feel like we don't have a lot of money. And I don't really know what all we can use money for yet anyways. But now that we activated that windmill... um, And we've discovered quite a few things in Trinity... Let's head over towards this windmill. We'll activate one of the windmills for... Um, or should we? Because I don't know if this, like, influences, like, you helping them out. And I feel like in this playthrough, like, we want to help out the survivors, right? I mean, we don't know enough about the peacekeepers, but we know that they don't treat their civilians very well. Um, I don't know. So maybe we'll just stick with the main quest right now see what more story this has to offer um before we open up anything for the peacekeepers yet because we don't know if we like them so let's go talk to Ader, i believe his name is let him know about the lazarus knuckles and hopefully uh is this another grove perfect some more lavender um but hopefully stop them from burning down the bazaar and killing a whole bunch of people. We want to try and stop a war here. That is our goal. We do not want a whole bunch of people dying. So, now that we have the Lazarus, hopefully that'll stop a war from happening. And we shall be a-okay. I'm hoping. Before we do anything else though, we have a bunch of crafting supplies. Um, we can craft 24 health kits could start checking out some of these throwing daggers let's craft two of them let's check them out still need pigment but we can start getting some of these endurance boosters now and then obviously lock picks which sure we'll make two more why not have 10 now these throwing knives where do these go consumables no accessories what are we not using right now we're not going to use this meat bait for a little bit so let's check out these throwing knives. 11 damage. And then... We need to press 1. And then middle mouse button to throw. And here... Is something to loot. How's this work? Okay, so it doesn't do that much damage. However... Notice these things. Alright, slow down. Nice. Hit them both on the spikes. And then this one should be easy enough for us to take out. Our bat definitely seems to be doing some more damage. Which is always nice. And let's see what this loot's about. Oh, we got some zombies. Oh no, these aren't zombies. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, so they played it smart. They're gonna run from that. Ooh, kicked them into the spikes too. Ah, uh, come on. I need to work on this parry. Damn it. Perfect. Uh, these dudes are level two. And if you notice, he was staggered, so I actually could have done that again. Ow, shit. Come on, run at me. Perfect. These dudes are tough at level 2. Alright, he's down, one left. If we had a power attack, we could br break through his blocks. Yeah, like those blocks right there. It's annoying that we can only get off two hits before he blocks again. 
Now these guys are gonna start coming out, which is great. Here I come. You're gonna die to zombies, bro. All right, bandits defeated. Let's take out these zombies. Ooh, these dudes are beefy. Can we kick them on these spikes right here? That didn't work. There we go. Alright, let's finally get this loot we were coming for. Whew, that was intense. And we got a lockpick our reward. Of course we do. What do we get? A double mace and some rice? Guess I'll take it. A great axe. I bet that's a two-hander. Get some scraps. We can pick up a brick, apparently. All right. And let's go ahead and take him health kit. We did take quite a bit of damage in that last fight. There we go. And let's head back to our main mission. Let's see what Aider has to say about the, us finding the Lazarus. All right, open up. Let's report to Aider. Checkers? Where will you get aboard? Koopa bought one from town. <coughs> Come over after work and give yourself a break. Oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty handed. It's getting tatted. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. Hmm. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get it's gonna to make us center. find the killer. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Yep. Command wants me to find the killer. Aiders, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. New weapon. Sure. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I we'll see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. I bet it's not. But the people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. 
Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I mean, to be fair, he has some points. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you've found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. <laughs> See, things are starting to come together for the peacekeeper side now. You know? I don't know! I don't know! I don't know, bro. I don't want to have to choose a side. Hey, Aiden. Still alive? I'm worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. Okay, Hakan. Let's see what you got to say. Oh, gotta report. One person I do really feel like we can trust is Hakan. I will say that. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. I don't think it's at the bazaar. I don't. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. Which is who we talked about. Know that. Who else is there? Sophie. His right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger. A local gangster. He knows what's going on. And about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's, you'll see. Sounds like a fun conversation. Alright, so where's this quest at? The bazaar? Yep, show is. So. What next? Continue the main quest? Do we hit this windmill? Shit. I don't know. Maybe we should check out this windmill. What level is it? It's level 1. And we, we did hit rank 2. We did hit rank 2. Got a nice new weapon. Yeah, and this is a two-hander. Oh, that's so sick. And this has a charm socket. Doesn't do as much damage though. But if we charm it, it'll increase its damage. Hmm, we don't have very many electrical parts yet though. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Let's head on out. And I guess head up this windmill, huh? And we have these swimming pools. Military convoys. Holy shit. That gives a purple weapon, purple armor, or a purple grenade? What the heck? That seems crazy. Alright. Let's go to this windmill real quick. Again, I think next episode, if not this episode, I want to start looting some of those, um... Those dark zones. See if we can get some good loot. We are playing on hard difficulty, so I have a feeling we'll be needing it pretty soon. There's an encounter. Come on, don't tire her out. You got this. Perfect. Definitely worth it to get that increase in stamina. Okay. And here's the windmill.
Sup, bro? How's it going? You seem familiar. Either that or a lot of you people just look alike with the same tattoos. Okay, so we have to hit that elevator and then go right up above us. All right, let's jump. Jump back across. Where to from here? Here's a ladder. And now that we are in a different zone, let's hit our binoculars. Should be plenty of things to discover over here, right? Something back there. Bring electricity to the zone. Once we figure out city alignment. A night activity. GRE anomaly. Okay. There's some bandits. Some dukes, whatever that means. What else can we find? Something. Must be blocks. Can't see it from here. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and turn on this PK windmill. MPKs do not play around. Their shit is so much more fortified. Oh, we got a new charm? I don't know what these charms do. Like, can we take those off? What's the point? What is all this stuff now? Whoa. Y'all saw all those icons? Whoa. Peacekeeper territory. So that unlocked a whole bunch of UV spots for us. Nice. So that'll make it easier to travel in this location for sure. Oh, shit. I think we got survivor territory and peacekeeper. Renegade territory, level 5 through 6. Holy snap. Okay. Cool. Still don't know what to do about survivors versus peacekeepers, but hopefully continuing the main quest will help us out a little bit. Whole bunch of side quests. We got a dark zone. Expiration date challenge. Let's check out one of these side quests. It looks like another grove of zombies. I knew that fall damage was gonna hurt. Here's a mural. Money, money, money. Let's check out this collectible. Money, 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 must be funny. In the dying light world, money, 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 always sunny. Life circle. Okay. Interesting. Let's take out these zombies. I actually don't want to use this weapon yet. Let's use this two-handed. Uh, yeah, I like this two-hander. Oh my 
goodness. That thing is brutal. Chopped his arm off. Alright. Anything else over here? Some chamomile. Looks like everything. Oh, no. One more thing. Perfect. Some feathers. Here's another campfire. Some PK stuff. The shit out of me. It's high time command deals with the water. We need to take the water tower back. This is going to be another person singing. Let's check it out. Can we sit? listen to some more music so that seems like a different song she seems to be singing about the peacekeepers which is cool I like that. I like the whole campfire thing. Nice change of, nice change of pace. Those guys don't look friendly. All right, we got a side quest here. Let's see what this is all about. Nighttime story. But remember, it's malfunctioning. You must report it. works. It works. Okay. You got a problem? A problem? Pilgrim, you gotta help me. I'm in deep shit. Real fucking deep. If you don't help me, that bald thug, my uncle, will beat me. And he's got hands like cast iron frying pans. The last time he hit me, I had a lump on my forehead as big as a horn. Uh, like some fucking rhino. And it came in rainbow colors too. The horn, I mean. What for? I don't think we want to say you'll be fine. What did you do to make your uncle angry this time? Nothing yet. But I will in a moment. Like any normal person. I took a nap and then boom. I was asleep like a frog in a swamp in winter. The worst part is that the sausage is on the verge of rotting. In this day and age, throwing away good food is a crime. Okay, nearly good food. But it won't give you the shits quite yet. If it's eaten in the next hour, Everyone will be fine. Okay, maybe one of them will run to the bathroom. Better than starving. After all, no one is shit so much they stop being hungry, right? But in three hours, everyone's asses will explode like shit geezers. Then comes the puking. My uncle will just fucking kill me, and the rest will feed my corpse to the infected. I'd hurry this food over to them myself, but I still have to prepare the smoker. This stuff doesn't make it. Well, you know what will happen. Where should I take it? Show me where to go. Jesus, you can't even imagine how important this is to me. Just grab the food rations on the table and hurry up to deliver them. All right, so we got a time mission here. Where are these rations at? Let's track this quest. Finish the challenge with at least the bronze medal. So 230 for gold, 310 for silver, 330 for bronze. Follow the checkpoints and in any order to deliver the rations as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and start it. Where do we go? All those locations? Holy shit. Knew that was gonna hurt. I missed the ledge. <laughs> I missed the ledge. These uniforms aren't warm enough. Oh my god, that was embarrassing. Let's try this again. Can't play games. All right. I'm just gonna forget that happened. Now, is there a way to get over here safely? 
That's probably a little more safe, isn't it? There we go. There's one. We're not worried about that, bro. We got a mission. Okay. Now this way. Please make that. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Wasn't sure if he was going to make that. All right, two more locations. Let's get it. Hopefully get this gold medal. That grove would be nice, but we can't worry about it right now. Go! All right, one more. I think we should make gold, right? I hope. Come on. I think we made gold. Whew. All right, we got gold. Let's go. Objective updated. Report about the challenge. Nice. You are awesome. I know you made it in time too. I met one guy who ate a sausage sandwich and he was fine. He even called it tasty. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got some spare time? Because if you do, because I got another sausage run to prevent the runs. And you, you already know where to go. This isn't an urgent race like the last one, but in this weather, you have to be careful with food. The faster it lands in someone's stomach, the better for everyone. So that's like a repeatable quest or something? Must be. Cool. So I'd assume that's if we didn't make the gold in time. Uh, we'd be able to redo that if necessary. Cool. Now we have a mission that takes us to nighttime. Hmm. <laughs> let's check it out, man. I'm, I'm, I'm scared, but let's check it out. Turn left, dodge the three infected there. 26 plus 82, 108 steps, plus the length of the living room twice because I came back. Okay. Oh, it's about to hit nighttime anyways. While exploring the city, you'll come across characters marked with this icon. These are nighttime stories, missions that are best completed at night. After you interact with the character, hold T to fast forward to the night so the mission can begin right away all right my guy okay there damn it you made me lose count once more the bags there 13 steps from the entrance 27 wait uh two infected ran in at that point damn it i'll never find it again find what my father's cd the future of mankind depends on it. The future of mankind? Mm-hmm. That's what my father says. Stellan Borg, a professor of cosmology here at the university. Heard of him? He wrote a famous paper, The Cosmology of Virology. Some next-level thinking. So what's on the CD? No idea. My father left it in a backpack. A bag. I don't know. I haven't checked everything. 
I was 13 paces from the apartment when two infected burst in. No, wait. Three. Do you want me to help you? Would you? Because I... I couldn't even... I, I mean, I could try. But three infected is too many. They'd kill me. Yeah, probably. Right, so here's the deal. The CD is in my father's bag. Or a backpack. And... The bag, or backpack, is in our apartment at 116 Bell Tower Road. That's west off of Horseshoe, close to Meatpacking Square. And remember, the fate of the human race may rest on you retrieving that CD. Father will pay you, uh, of course, when you bring him the CD. He'll be waiting outside the church. I got it. Oh, and here's a tip. Wait till dusk. That's when they leave. They're packed in there during the day. Five in the hall, then two up the stairs. No, three. Okay. Oh, it sounds like we're dealing with like eight zombies or something. Sounds a little intense. Hold the fast forward tonight. Pretty sure we were already there, but whatever. And we need to go that way. And we only have... Our immunity's a little looking short. A job. Our cook needs an assistant. Not looking for a job, I'm sorry. Quite busy at the moment. That was a gunshot. Sounded like it anyways. Or an explosion. Is this another uh, UV spot? I mean, we don't really need to stop here, but let's do it anyways. There's another quest in here, actually. Can I, like, walk in here, bro? Can you, like, climb through? Crouch? Do something? Thank you. Okay. Alright, let's go back out. Here's a grove. Uh, we're just gonna take the UV shrooms and lavender, I think. Not gonna spend too much time right there. That's a monster to defeat. Sounds a little scary. Oh, that's a howler. That's another howler. Please make it. Oh my god. Search the dark hollow. So we gotta go in there? That's a howler though. Oh shit. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, we can't make that. <laughs> I just pray that Howler doesn't see me. Is there like a way to go? Where can we go from here? Maybe there? I can't let that Howler see me, bro. That Howler sees me, I'm done for. Okay, that's not gonna work. All right, we're gonna have to figure something out here in a minute. Where can we go? We can't climb up there. Can we climb there? Yes. All right. Zoom here. Here. And we have a pipe here. Okay. Oh, I want you on the pipe. Crawl up. Get on the roof. Oh, uh, we have to go inside, don't we? Pass that holler somehow. Here's a mural. Let's check this out. Monkey business. Collectibles. 
Choose your business partners wisely. With one hand, he may be shaking on an agreement, while his other hand holds a dagger. Fair enough. Ah, shit. I don't know. I think we gotta fight the Halberd. I think we have to fight it. I'm not seeing a way through up top. Encounter fail, the survivor turned. That's not good. Oh, no, 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 no! Run inside. This is not gonna be good, is it? Nope. I think we're dead here. Come on, stamina, I need you. Oh my god. I don't even know what's going on. I need my stamina. I'm about to die. Get me out of here. Can I open this door? It's hard. It's I need a lot of pick. It didn't work. It didn't work. That was scary. We were born smelly, and we'll die smelly. Ooh. Ow, that was scary. So negative about things now. On that note, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. We're gonna have to try that again next episode. But I hope that you enjoyed the content today. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Feel free to leave a thumbs down if you did not enjoy it. Any support means the world to me. I hope to see you in next episode. Until then, peace out, y'all.